Hey everyone, Epic Edge here, welcome you all to the very first teapot tour. So today I'll be giving everyone a quick look at my teapot layout just for fun. But before we hop into my teapot, uh, I just want to say that teapot tours will be a recurring themed video. Uh, maybe every two to three weeks or so, uh, depending on my progress. I'm also planning to do a Rate My Teapot series where I'll be visiting your worlds and giving my thoughts on your layouts. So if you're interested in being featured in that series, uh, do make sure to express your interest in the comments below. And you know, we'll, we'll work out the details and how I can get into your accounts and look at your teapots and all that good stuff. So with that out of the way, let's drop my teapot over here real quick. Okay, and hop right in. So as you can see, uh, I do have a little mountain set up over there. <clears throat> and it really serves no other purpose than to just give me some extra points for the realm, as well as serve as an elevated spot for, you know, an elevated view. So I did not plan this through, so let's just cut straight to the very top, okay? So this is the view from my little mountain top here. Um, it just gives me a nice elevated perspective of the exterior. And now my initial idea was to create a little town, but I thought to myself, hey, Edge, you always do this whenever you play games that have base building elements to it. Why don't we do something different? And so I thought to myself, hey, why don't we go make a uh, larger estate? Kind of what you see in the, uh, what's the name of the anime? Danmachi. <laughs> yeah, so Danmachi, uh, if you watch that anime, you know that the larger familias have giant estates. And so that's kind of what I'm going to go for moving forward. Uh, so a lot of these extra buildings are just remnants of what I was initially planning, but they will eventually disappear. I'm just leaving them there so that I can accumulate more coins over time. But again, once I have the stuff that I want, I will go ahead, remove most of these buildings and turn this into one giant estate. Now, since the members of the guild that I'm making uh, hail from both Liyue and Mondstadt, I am trying to incorporate uh, furnishings and elements from both regions but with Inazuma coming up I'm sure we will be getting Inazuma themed or Japanese themed um, furnishings as well once patch 1.6 launches and so uh, once those furnishings get released I will be taking a look assessing how we can incorporate those elements as well <clears throat> so starting from left to right uh, we have the beach area over here I just actually unlocked this as I was preparing to record uh, the teapot tour and so I haven't really built anything there yet so you'll have to wait for episode 2 to kind of see what I have plants you know, what I eventually put up in the beach but <clears throat> over here right below uh, we have a little teapot ha ah, teapot house tea house inside the teapot but again this is gonna get removed some fruits and stuff for people who want something to eat while they have their tea. Uh, these two buildings here, they're not really doing anything. Uh, just playing around with how things kind of like uh, connect together. Automatically connect together. I can't think of the word right now. It's like 7 a.m. in Manila. And so <laughs> my brain's not really working all that much yet. Um, over here. We have a little, well, I was kind of pretending that this was like a stable, you know, for horses. I don't have a horse yet, but I will add a horse if ever that comes out. Um, so these would be where the horses are staying. Uh, that's why we also have some hay here. The cargo is sitting over here. Now for the riders, uh, we have a nice little stone bench where they can sit in the shade of this tree over there. Now, next to that, we have a little pine wooden cabin, I guess. 
Um, it's near the entrance of the beach and I actually put this here before I unlock the beach area. And so this, the idea for this was that, hey, you can go get changed here and then head down to the beach. So lots of trees. I like that because uh, it just gives more life into the area. It doesn't look very nice if the, all the if the only foliage you have is grass. So I put up a lot of the trees. I didn't really put up much of the other uh, kinds of plants, just because um, I think having too many bushes just makes the area look a little unkempt, so to speak. So I just dropped some other stuff here, playing around and experimenting with um, the sets, seeing if that if you do put a uh, set blueprint down, if you are getting any bonus points. Um, playing around with the load limit of the area as well. So this is the main house. This is the guild headquarters, so to speak. But before we go inside there, you'll see that I have a little workshop area here. Uh, the workshop obviously is where the guild members are gonna go and fix their stuff, forge new equipment, right? After their days of adventuring, I have a little sleepy sleep place area, a nap place here as well for whoever wants to stay there. A nice little well where we get our water but i only have the one that's covered i will replace it once i get the uncovered version <coughs> uh this is the main house uh it's a monstat version of the house uh, i don't know if i'm going to keep this exact layout but only one lion because i have not unlocked the second lion yet here's a little kitty cat and yeah um the only thing though uh, I have to say about this is I am a little annoyed because of one very I just think it's annoying why Mihoyo why can I not put stuff on the concrete I don't know if anyone else feels the same way but I find, I find it annoying like I would like to put some stuff around this concrete area simply because I think that would make the house look more lived in and the thing is that you know that kind of design already exists in the world and so i don't understand why it does it can't happen in the teapot world so maybe mihoyo that's something you guys should explore <clears throat> also by the way uh i do plan to take this entire area because this is more or less something that i have committed to keeping moving forward so i will kind of like move everything a little more forward just so that i have because right now uh the house is all the way in the back and so i don't have space to build anything you know for like a backyard and i was thinking that hey you know if this is going to be a guild house i think it should have a backyard area for the residents um maybe a place where you know a garden where people where you know the higher ups of the guild can entertain important guests like from Mondstadt, Liwei, eventually from Inazuma right so that's kind of where it's gonna that's kind of like what I plan to do um, I'm gonna move everything forward a little bit move stuff around uh, when I've completely decided on the layout I will be removing I will be moving not removing just moving the mountain to a different spot and then and close it all with a nice stone fence. Now with the exterior out of the way, why don't we go ahead and look at the interior of the house. Way too close. So let's back up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is the view that will greet you. It's just a nice little reception area. So, you know, when you first come in, you will be greeted by the secretary who will welcome you you know a lot of documents and records here for the secretary's use <clears throat> we also have a nice little reception area for guests um, this is a set uh, I might keep it I but I also might change it I'm not entirely sure yet but the general idea behind it I will keep there's a little bookshelf here as well for those who get bored of waiting and want to just go ahead and read something now this room 
is not furnished yet it just has a solitary chair um, but i am thinking of turning this into the guild captain's office not his quarters but the office uh as for the exact layout again i'm not entirely sure yet i'm still kind of planning it out because i don't want it to look too regular i guess so that's something i need to work on next up the common area uh very sparse as of the moment uh all i have is a big table here with a couple of chairs because i'm still kind of debating whether i want two like really long tables like three of these stuck together and then there's another one here or if i just want to keep it like multiple smaller tables like these litter around the place uh in this area it's rather bare just my kitty cat number two uh i am currently thinking of slapping a bar over here uh just not sure if i'm gonna keep that i'm trying to think of other things that would go well here the bar is the first thing that came to mind simply because since the area is already a dining area it would kind of make sense to have the bar here so while we're talking about food let's go into the kitchen kitchen once again very sparse uh i'm trying to unlock more stuff and another mini rant uh mihoyo i don't understand why <clears throat> certain things are just i mean i understand right that certain furnishings should be outdoors and certain furnishings are for indoors but there you have a lot of options that are you know in my mind applicable to both and one of the things that i'm talking about is the fruit uh shelves uh the one that you buy where you when you buy it it's the actual furnishing not the blueprint and i believe you find those um uh, in oh the inn <laughs> the inn in liwe so i don't understand why i can't put it inside my kitchen right i don't understand why i can't slap it here anyway mini rant over I hope Mehoyo can go ahead and fix that. I understand that they had just they have just recently launched this one. And so give them time, I guess. But that's the end of the mini rant. Anyway, so here we just have a couple of cupboards, some cooking supplies, cooking supplies, cupboards. So I had to repeat a lot because I got annoyed <laughs> because I couldn't put like fruits and veggies in here. Uh I don't have another table, but this is where they would prep the stuff. This is where you would keep the cookware. And obviously, this is where you would cook. So again, <clears throat> I will eventually really fill the place out. I also have no idea what to put here. I want to kind of turn it into a storage area, maybe some barrels and crates. But unfortunately, I can't slap down barrels and crates for the same reason why I can't put fruits in the kitchen. Such a shame. So next we have the lounge over here, um, lounge slash study. <clears throat> so we have a nice cozy little couch right in front of the fireplace. So if you want to just go take a break, there we go. We have a whole bunch of books and uh, I'm going to just say ancient scrolls from all the adventures and ruins that you guys explore. Uh, side table, big side table for now, but I will eventually change that with a smaller side table. There's also a round table here. Um, no chairs just yet, but just another place for people to sit down and read, maybe talk a little bit in case they don't want to be that close to the fireplace. Now there is a rather bare area here. I'm not entirely sure yet of what I want to slap down here but i was thinking that you know <clears throat> it could be turned into a little play area for the younger members of the guild um you know like Klee and deona and uh chichi but since i only have deona i haven't really gone and done that just yet maybe slap down a rug and try to look for furnishings that could be seen as uh toys and stuff so that's the one now there's also the upstairs and i was kind of debating whether to show this or not so as you can see it's quote unquote blocked but not really because you can just scooch on over there and yeah this is all that's upstairs because there you can't you can't or at least i can't enter these rooms just yet 
I don't know if you can eventually in the future, but I can't yet. <clears throat> so I can't make like themed bedrooms for characters, and so I just decided to use this entire hallway to store away my pine frames here or pine screens. And if you guys don't know, just in case, uh, these pine screens are the best way to increase uh, your points, your overall points, realm points, so that you can get realm coins. More, the more you put, the higher amount of coins that you get, and so that's gonna what that's going to help feed uh your buying of other furnishings that you would like for example these chairs and the table uh the cabinets and all that <clears throat> okay so right about now i'm pretty sure some of you guys are thinking hey edge you know what this system has been out for about two weeks now so what gives why is your progress so slow and if i'm being honest i agree right like progress has been slow and that's actually intentional and uh, that's because I absolutely, and I mean absolutely, love base building systems in these RPG games. Like, if you guys can see the amount of hours, the hundreds of hours I've poured into games like Fallout 4, uh, Dragon Quest Builders, and the like, uh, you will know that I can get absolutely carried away with base building systems. And so that kind of scares me in Genshin Impact because in like Fallout 4 and Dragon Quest Builders, primarily completely single player experiences, um, you know, it's perfectly fine. But in a gotcha game with multiplayer like Genshin, it's scary to get carried away uh, with the base building because that means I would never farm, like never ever ever farm. Uh, so I would never be able to level up characters, ascend characters, make them stronger. You know, I really need to spend a lot of time in the domains, especially with Eula coming up. And so I'm really trying to limit myself, uh, just spend about an hour or two every day. I don't even think I've reached like two hours, just an hour max, hour tops, um, in my teapot. Work on it just a little bit, which is why... Um, I'm pegging my like the time in between uh, teapot tour episodes between two to three weeks just so that there is a bit of uh, like there are significant changes from the previous episode right <clears throat> so yeah this is the teapot so far and I know that there's still a lot of uh, rather empty areas uh, I do have ideas but I would also really love to hear your ideas. Maybe you guys have some comments or suggestions. Um, you know, if you guys hate something, if you guys think something I've done was absolutely stupid, you know, uh, just drop all of that in the comments below. I'll go through them one by one, 100%. And, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe some of the, the ideas that you guys share with me will end up being featured in the next teapot tour and that's gonna do it for this video uh while you're here please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel as always thank you so much for watching and until the next video stay epic